Hey, uh, were you a fan of Black Hammer by Jeff Lemire? Well, perhaps maybe you'd want to check out these side stories. This one is Colonel Weird, Cosmagog. This, I'm assuming, I'm going to assume that this is, was a one-volume uh, deal for Colonel Weird. Um, even though they did kind of allude to some things in his storyline and they didn't really finish it up or like really full on explain what happened and I would like to see them go back and explain things like that like for instance his wife disappeared into the um that weird place he goes to the para para zone or whatever but um, I, the one thing that really got me for this, this is a Dark Horse comic, of course. Um, what really got me with this one was the imagery. The imagery in this, because if you know Colonel Weird, he's just kind of, it's kind of trippy. Um, the watercolors are fantastic. I mean, look at this artwork. Um, I think the artist is Tyler Crook. But yeah, just look at that art, that artistry. It's just, it's just beautiful. And like I said, it's got some weird scenes, you know. Yeah, so this is uh, illustrated by Tyler Crook. And like I said, beautiful, fantastic artwork. Um, it really kind of, it gives you a feel for what Colonel Weird is kind of going through. It kind of makes sense why his character is the way it is and he kind of repeats certain moments in his timeline and like i said it really fleshes out the character of colonel weird um definitely if you were a fan of black hammer this is something you're definitely going to want to check out whether you really like colonel weird or not i i feel like it's something it's a must read because it kind of fleshes out more of the story and gives a little more meaning to what's going on with the story Beautiful artwork, though. Um, yeah, that's why I wanted to share this one with you guys, because, like, I, I think it's a nice little, it's a nice solo book. Like I said, I, I would hope that they would do further further stories featuring Colonel Weird. I'm kind of hoping that they'll, you know, maybe explore what happened to his wife, because they never really show. They just kind of introduce the topic that, that she wanted to go to the Parazone, and then I guess he... I mean, it's not like he was going to take her there, and then he disappeared, and it, it flashed to another scene. And then they kind of alluded to it later in the book, so, you know, it would be nice if they would, uh, like, you know, finish that out. Don't leave us hanging about what happened to her, because we know she disappeared, and that's all we know. But yeah, um, of course, as always, I will have a link to Amazon down below, and if you're not aware, if you're new here, um, I get a very small percentage of each and every sale made through those links. You don't necessarily have to buy this exact book. If you shop through that link, I get a small percentage of whatever you purchase. Um, I'm also going to throw out my coffee link. If you wouldn't mind throwing in a couple bucks, you know, buy me a coffee. That's what they, that's what they say, because it is a coffee link. And if you can't do any of those things, by all means, hit that subscriber button and while you're there, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload again. I'm not doing a weekly upload schedule like I used to. I just really cannot do that. Um, you know, time is money. I say this all the time, and I just I don't have that much time to invest like I had been in the prior 10 years of doing this channel. I just cannot. I just cannot keep on doing the weekly uploads because I'm not really getting much in return for doing it. This is more or less just a hobby for me. So it is what it is, but you know, thank you for watching and until next time, later.